I'm just gonna back away. Okay. And I'll let you get here. Okay. And that'll work. By the end, I'll slip in. Yeah, just grab me on the shoulder, pull me out of the way. <laughs> Are you back? Yeah. Are you the DJ? You the disciple? Yeah. <laughs> 95.9 KCKO, good morning to you, East Texas. I'm John, and I'm here with the, the gentleman from Caldwell Banker. Sorry about that. <laughs> Brett and Shy, how are you guys doing today? Doing great. Always great, John. Thanks for having us. No problem, no problem. All right, you got a special guest with us here today. Yeah, we got Pat Fernandez with us in the house today, and I'd like to just say good morning, Cedar Creek Lake, and a good Friday to y'all. As we get ready for another great Easter weekend, I pray we take a little time out to remember why it is truly such a wonderful time of year. And while we continue to experience low inventory, not just in our area, but across the state, it makes it to where if you're considering getting your home on the market, now is a great time to do so. Uh, the competition is low, the lake's up, and the interest rates are still low, but they are starting to climb. So this is causing buyers to see more urgency to find their dream home. And that is why we are continuing our series on the buying process today and we will be discussing home inspections. And we would like to thank Pat Fernandez for joining us this morning to help answer a few of those questions. Thank you guys, I appreciate you having me here today and uh, thank you for the opportunity mm -hmm. to do this. And it's, kind of, it's kind of a new deal for me. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't do this very often, <laughs> and then at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, but before we get started, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm a, my name is Patrick Fernandez. Uh, I'm a retired uh, Fort Worth firefighter, 33 years. I've, done, I've been doing home inspections for uh, 15 years, and it's um, kind of a, excuse me, um, I'm from, I'm from, I was born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas, and um, that's about it really, I'm just, you know, do home inspections, and I'm also uh, into the um, concrete construction, I do that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, why would... Why would I need to hire an inspector first off? Can I do the inspection myself? Um, you could, but technically, you if you do your own home inspection, you don't see things that are code um, applied to the code. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of home buyers or, or sellers don't know the code, um, electrical code, plumbing code. We're not code enforcers, but we know the code per se, is to the, to the electrical and plumbing. So a person can see something that, to them, it's okay, but to us, or to the inspectors, it's, it's not the code. And we have to write that up as a deficiency or um, kind of a, you know, that's not the right the way you're supposed to do it. So it's, it's better to get a home inspector to do the home inspection. So you say it's more of a risk. They can miss something important. If they, they, they miss something, and it can be back, come back to them, or the, the realtor, too, that, you know, they didn't see it or... They didn't know about it, and a lot of times the HVAC system or the air conditioning system, if they don't get it inspected, it can go out, you know, or it don't even function when they buy the house. So it's kind of a, a good thing to get a home inspection. Yeah, it's it's pretty easy, you know, if I walk in there and I flip the switch for the air conditioning, nothing happens. I know it's broken. Exactly. But there's things you can see that I you know are, are warning signs warning for upcoming sign. problems. Exactly. Plus, there's like the national building code, but there's also different local building codes that, that come into play also, correct? You have the international residential code mm -hmm. that we go by, and that's the main the main code book. The local codes are the, are the city codes. They're more applied to the big cities that mm -hmm. they go by. Around the lake, there's no uh, code compliance around the lake, so, and that's more reason why you should get a home inspection because there's no code compliance around the lake. There's no, no one to uh, oversee. Uh, if you do a remodel on a residence and, and they don't get a inspected, they can miss something, you know, so it's, it's a good thing to get it get inspected. So, like up in Frisco, I would have the city code inspectors to help look out for it. Exactly. But down here, Henderson County, there's outlying areas where things are a lot of times just built by a handy homeowner or by a brother-in-law contractor. So there's no code oversight. So you really need somebody to come in there with those professional eyes and, exactly. and see yes, what sir. they've done. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so one of the common questions we get is, what's the average cost of a home inspection? And that's something that. Uh, I don't charge, or my fee is not as much as other home inspectors. Mm -hmm. I don't gouge um, the, the buyer or the seller to do a home inspection. 
I, I charge my, my fee is two seventy two hundred seventy five dollars per inspection, up to two thousand square foot. Um, but the way I look at it, I, I, I tried to educate the, the buyer, especially okay. the home home first time home buyers. Mm -hmm. I try to educate them on what to, you know, what they look for when they buy a home, and and also um, that, that frees up more money. I'm, I'm not a licensed. Uh, pest control inspector so it frees up more money they can spend on a, on, a, on a termite inspector to come into a termite inspection when I do a home inspection I can't say if I find active termites I can't say they're termites mm -hmm. I can say they're wood destroying insects on okay. my report they can they can turn and call a, a termite inspector to say hey come on and treat this you know okay. for termites and that's why I don't charge as much as other Home inspectors, but you said up to two thousand square feet. So, is there another price? Yes, above sir. That? After after two thousand square feet is ten dollars for every hundred square feet. After that, okay, that's what I. And that's for your basic home. What if they have other outlying structures? If they have a, a boathouse or a boat a dock, I, I charge a hundred dollars for the boat dock or boathouse. If they have an outbuilding or a shop, I, I'll charge fifty dollars for the shop. Okay, or the outbuilding. Um, if they have another residence next to it, then I have to charge per square foot for another residence that's at, at, on the property itself. So okay. I charge per square foot for that too. Okay. So if they've got a question about, you know, they've got a specific property yes, and this sir. and that, they can give you a call, yes, let sir. you know, you know, this is what I got, how many square feet, and you can give them a pretty reasonable cost uh, yes, on what, what that's sure. going to be. Also, I do uh, commercial inspections too on commercial buildings. Okay. We're, we're licensed to do uh, commercial inspections for uh, uh, buildings and also we do uh, phase inspections. I do a phase inspection for new construction okay. where if you're building a home, like I said, there's no code compliance around here mm -hmm. in the lake. If you're building a home and you want to get it inspected, we'll go do the, it's called three phase inspection. The first phase is the um, pre-pour. Before they pour the foundation, we do inspection of the foundation to make sure the, the plumbing is correct. The rebar is all where it's supposed to be. And that the um, if it's if it's a post tension cable, we we look at the post tension cable that they're all secure in the right places. Then we do a pre dry wall inspection before the drywall the, the interior. We make sure all the electricals is uh, we have the, the tack strips or where they're supposed to be. Um, and then we have the, the final inspection where it's when they finally get the structure built, we do do the final inspection of the property. Okay. And about how long, whenever they whenever they hire you for a home inspection, about how long does it take you to do a, a standard home inspection most days? A 2,000 square foot structure will, will take me two to three hours to do an inspection, depending on, on the property itself. You know, okay. if, it's, if it's, uh, you know, if it's one, if, if it's, it has a lot of uh, issues, I, it takes me a little longer to do an inspection. If it's pier and beam, it takes me a little longer because I have to get into the crawl space to, to check the uh, crawl space of a, of a pier and beam home. Okay. And when's a good time for them to meet with you uh, to go over the inspection report? Uh, is it best to be there before or after, or when's a good time for them to, to usually, meet with you? Usually, usually on a home inspection, if, if the client can't be there, I will call them to give them a, a verbal report, and I will email them a report with pictures. If they want to be there, they can. I can call them right at the end of the inspection. That way, they have to wait around. But usually, at the, at the end of the inspection, they can they can meet me. Okay. To go over things. And what happens if you find um, issues with a with a home? Um, what do they do next after after you've gone through the report? Uh, what's the next step? The, the next step, once they get the report, they'll they'll go with through the real, realtor with the report. The okay. client and the realtor will look at the report and see what issues they can. Um, Use as a bargaining tool for for allowances to have it fixed with the seller. Um, that's usually the next step after I, they get the report. If there's issues that that um, they can't figure out, you know, like the electrical system, they have to get a, a licensed electrical contractor to come out and, and, and do the another inspect, inspection on the property for electrical issues. If there's a major issue for electrical plumbing or HVAC system. Okay. And you were a firefighter for many years. Um, can you tell us a, a bit about that, about your experience with that, and how that benefits in your your home inspection work? Uh, what all you did as a firefighter, and and how that helps out well, a lot? From 
from the firefighting side of it, we saw issues where, you know, after the a structure had been burnt, we saw what caused the fire, electrical um, uh, or, you know, grease fires, that kind of thing. But um, on that side of the fire, I, I see what happens after um, a house has been burned. Whereas well, we, go, we go in and knock the fire down, we can see where it started. We go from the point of origin, see where it started. And I see where, when I'm inspecting a property, I can see where this could be a safety issue if something happens, you know. There are uh, outlets that are not grounded, um, fires that are electrical um, type fires. Um, I see that kind of uh, um, issue on electrical fires where the, it's not, the house is not grounded. And, and, and when we have electrical fire, that's where it causes the, the most damage is behind the wall and goes into the, to the attic. And we see that a lot in house fires. So there's some of these things that you can catch in a home inspection that are not that difficult to fix if they're, if they're, caught, they're caught, but could uh, prevent future fires or damage to the structure. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes, sir. And uh, if they wanted to get a hold of you today, how, do, how does somebody get a hold of you to get a home inspection schedule? Yes, sir. Um, my uh, business phone number and my cell number is 817-845-6028. Okay, sounds yes, good. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate having you on today, yeah, Pat. And, thank you. Uh, been, been very informative, <laughs> helped us out appreciate a lot. And, yeah. Uh, if you, if you need to get that home inspection done, be sure you give Pat a call today. We're going to post this information on our Facebook page. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Uh, give him a call or give us a call if you want to know how to get a hold of him. Uh, Pat's been around for, for a few years here and sure quite a few. And um, we enjoy working with him. Always a pleasure. Pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Pat. I'll do it again sometime. Yeah, we'll have you back in here as soon <laughs> yeah. as we can. As soon as we can. Yeah. All right, Brett, you got a few problems. Right, now now i got to go do a TV uh, <laughs> Uh, interview now. So. <laughs> Big, uh, popular around this lake area. <laughs> Thanks. All right, yeah, I got a few properties for us today. Um, our first one's over here at 3213 FM 636 over in Kearns. Um, this one is deep in the heart of Texas. You're going to find a magnificent country getaway. It's a 2,188 square foot, three bedroom, two bath brick home that sits on three acres. And this is just a few miles away from both Highway 31 and Highway 85, which gives you good proximity to the city while still feeling away from it all. And all bedrooms are very large and have two closets each. Uh, there's also an office den uh, located at the front of the home that could be converted into a fourth bedroom. L living room has wood burning fireplace, new floors that also stretch through into the kitchen and dining areas. Uh, there's room for dining in this open kitchen and also a separate formal dining area or other office space. Uh, lovely fruit trees around and a good concrete driveway that wraps around into the two-tar garage. Yeah, we were out there just the other day on that and that is a that is a great, great place to get to right now. I, mean, mm -hmm. I, I just love that property. Yeah, and at only 150,000, it's gonna be hard to comp this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be, you're gonna be hard pressed to find, find a better value. Mm -hmm. All right, what, what do you got next, Brett? Uh, over here in Kemp at 18459 Hickory Circle, that's located in the Country Club. Uh, it's a gorgeous lakefront property in this established neighborhood. And this charming home sits on 0.38 acres. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, it's got everything. Breakfast nook, spacious dining room, office space, granite tops, new stainless steel appliances in there, a fireplace, wet bar, oversized garage, and a huge back porch with a great view of lovely City Creek Lake for only 385.9. Yeah, we always we always love those, those views of Cedar Creek Lake. They're, mm -hmm. they're a joy to get. And this has got a good wide open one over there too. Wonderful. What, what do you got next for us? Okay, now over here uh, at 15883 Cherokee Trail. This is also in Kent, but on the north side of the highway over there. Uh, spacious brick home with two living areas large utility, nice open concept kitchen, a 400 square foot storage building slash shop. It's, it's got a two car carport connected to it. And I've seen inside there, there's three large cedar closets in there. The lady had been using it to help store her clothing that she'd had for sale. And so it's big areas with the cedar help keep those bugs away over there. Um, fence backyard, 
it's in a nice quiet neighborhood and uh terracotta floors throughout beautiful home for only 139.9 oh terracotta floors that's something you don't see in every house these i know days. it's one of your favorites <laughs> all right uh, and your final one for today um final one, one right over here on 408 circle right yeah 408 circle and that actually there's going to be two of them. we're going to talk about one of them today okay. but uh this is a cute three bedroom two bath two car garage waterfront home that sits on two lots over in spill few acres it's um Beautifully remodeled. It's got a large boathouse with a large party deck on top, double jet ski lift, and a, a lift big enough to hold a tritune boat. Okay, that's, so that's that's a little bigger than your normal just little uh, John boat straps in a in a little boathouse there. Yeah, and this one with the house that faces north there, so you can from your party deck get good views of the sunrise and sunset. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And this one's going for only three hundred and seventy nine today. That's that's a good price right there. So uh, if they want to get a hold of you, Brett, how do they get a hold of you today? Uh, it's always, you can give me a call or text anytime at 903-340-6301. And if you want to see any more of our properties or our videos that we're making at our properties now, always go on to our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe. Yeah, click that like button, click that subscribe. And I'm shy at 903-340-6159. We'd like to thank our guest, Pat Fernandez, today. Um, for home inspections, if you're looking to get that home inspected, we always recommend getting a home inspection on any structure you purchase. Mm -hmm. His phone number is 817-845-6028. And we'll be posting that on our Facebook page. So you can get it there, give us a call, or give our office a call today at 903-887-7055. I'd like to thank you, John, for no having problem. us again today. Yeah. I'm going to kick you out of my spot. Okay, now. okay, I'll, I'll move over here. So. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to 95.9 KCKL. We are going to get back into some more great music here.